This is Lisa. Welcome to Crate Myrtle Row. I have such a huge haul this time to show you guys that I'm going to split it up into two parts. So normally I don't do that. I just make them long, but this one will get probably way too long. So I'm going to split it up. This will be part one. I'll put up the second part a few days later. But um, just to let you know, some of the things I've got here came from antique stores, and I will tell you what those are. Um, and then I have a couple of new items, like from retail stores, that I, I know it's not a thrift haul, but I wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to go out and find those yourself. So I might just show you those right quick. I'll be going out of frame here. You know, we're in my dining room. I got everything spread out on my dining room table. And um, so I'll just be kind of reaching out and, and getting things. So I'll show you the retail things first. First thing is these plates from Dollar General for $1. I mean, that's even cheaper than you can get at um, the Dollar Tree now. But I just love those. And if you've been with me for a while, you know I love bee decor. <laughs> like the little honeybee in the summertime, which um, I know I just put this up not long ago, if you've watched my um, video of this tour of this room in the kitchen also, I just put it up. Normally, I would put this up um, 1st of March. However, I didn't have my room ready then, so I just had to put it up whenever. I normally switch over to my bee and chicken decor around um, the 1st of May, keep that through June. And then in July, I switch over to a beach decor. I have a lot of milk glass collection and seashell, just beach related nautical things. And I do that in here. Also in my living room, I'll typically change that out for beach decor um, come July. That I got that was from retail is this strawberry bread box. I absolutely love this. And thanks so much to my sweet friend, Peggy Lou, over at um, Crazy for Retro. She sent me uh, a message on Instagram with a link to buy this. It came from Michael's. I never saw it in the store in my local Michael's. They had um, lots of strawberry decor. I never saw the bread box. Even when I went online, it did not show that they had it um, in line. It was out of stock at their stores. So I just did a like a search to have it shipped to me. So I, first I went out 50 miles, nothing. I finally went out 100 miles and um, finally found a store that had it and could ship it to me. And it didn't cost, I think like $6 or something to ship. And I, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. I want to say it was only $14 or $16 because it was on sale, like 30% off or something like that. But I absolutely loved it. So thank you very much, Peggy, if you're watching this, for giving me that tip. The next items I'm going to show you, well, I'll go ahead and show you this basket. And I think I paid, I don't see the sticker on it anymore. Yep, there it is, $6. And it's just a nice, it's got the wired um, frame in it, so it's good and sturdy basket. And I like the colors. It kind of has a vintagey Feel. I'm going to use it in my laundry room up under the table. I don't know if you've um, seen some of my room tours here in the dining room in the past. Over in the corner, like right over there, there was this bar cart that stayed like a, under my bar and kind of over in that corner. I didn't want to put it back in this room because it did kind of clutter it up with the furniture. So I ended up repurposing it in my laundry room to use as a folding table. I have a very small laundry room and you know, I just, I liked having the idea of something there where I could get the towels and stuff out of the dryer and have somewhere to sit them and fold them. So that's where I repurposed it. And it has some shelves, like a shelf in the bottom and then there's space underneath. That basket will be perfect for storing things up underneath and still look pretty. So that's where I got that. And then these next two items, these were $2.75 a piece. And they are nice candle sconces and they're big, you know, for the bigger candles. And they are really pretty, just like they are. Or I might 
paint them a different color. I have not decided what room I'm gonna use these in, if I'm gonna put them in my living room or possibly my bedroom, because as I've mentioned in past videos, I'm also gonna do a um, refresh of my bedroom, go more with a vintage cottage feel in there. So I may paint these a color and distress them, but they're really pretty just like they are, like those. And then next is this, this vase, and I paid $375, and it says Germany 198 So I'm going to say it's maybe mid-century, like in the 70s, because it kind of has that mid-century modern pattern, or it may be even Art Deco, so it may be back, when is Art Deco? The 20s, I think, or the 30s? I can't remember. But anyhow, I thought it was pretty. I love this color. This is the color scheme that's in my living room, blue greens and all, so turquoise, mint greens, all that. But I loved, you know, the kind of glazed effect there, and I just thought it was pretty. So I got that. And also to use in that, um, my dish, I mean my refrigerators, the ice makers filling up in my living room, I'm going to use a lot of birds. I love bird statues. And I found this one I absolutely loved. I don't know what you call this type of paint. It almost like an airbrush paint, but I just love that kind of finish on things. And, um, just the, the bluebird part, it was so pretty. And I think it was only like $4. The stickers already come off, but I thought it was so pretty. And just mix those around in the room. So I've got several birds here. And then this one again, I think it was like $4 too. And it says limited edition series, a swallow tanger. And it has like a little thing there. But that one is really pretty in the blue colors. Loved it. And then this next bird, I paid $5.75 for it. And I know it's not the colors, but this is a Carolina wren, it says on it. That is my state of South Carolina. The state bird is the Carolina wren. And I do have a lot of these out in my yard, so that's why I wanted that one. And it's still pretty. You know, they don't all need to be the same color. So that one's pretty. And what I like to do with these is... You know, put a stack of books. I know y'all have seen me thrift um, different old vintage books and just stack them up and set a little statue on them. Okay, next I'm going to show you some more things from an antique store. And I know I paid more in an antique store than I would pay in a thrift store. However, what I do is I look up on eBay or Etsy or something like that to see a comparable price, to see if I'm paying you know, a fair price for it in the in the antique store compared to if I had to pay shipping and all to get it from somewhere else. So that kind of helps me decide whether I'm going to pay for something or not. But this is a tablecloth, a vintage tablecloth, and I had to pay $25. And that's, that's high for me because most of my tablecloths, I get thrifted and I pay, you know, anywhere from 3 to $6. But I have been wanting one with the strawberries on it forever and this one was just so pretty and it's a pretty big i forget i forget the measurement but you can see it's like a really long one and then it's really wide but i just thought that was so pretty and i think it's not quite long enough for my table here but sometimes i'll set it on an angle when I use them that way, or I don't know if you can see this chair back here, I will sometimes just drape my vintage tablecloths over that chair. So there is that. And then this I got in an antique store and it was $8. And it is a vintage Lord and Taylor um, apron. But I just thought that was so pretty. The colors and all are so pretty. The next things, and I got these in an antique store in um, Arizona. Um, it's a little town called Lowell. It's right next to Bisbee, Arizona. 
near Tombstone, all that area. We were out there visiting my daughter and son-in-law who are stationed at Fort Huachuca. And this antique store had these in there for the prices. Their prices were like what a thrift store would be, but it's like $1.50, all of these vintage little doilies, or these are like pot holders. And what I am planning on doing with all of these is if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I think I showed in my last video, my laundry room, I have, and like I say, all of these were like $1.50, a dollar something like that. I have some vintage hankies hanging on a, on a rope across my window, like a clothesline. And I have vintage um, pins, clothes pins holding them on there. And I thought about it Christmas time, changing out for the red and white. And I know you're thinking, well, why would you decorate your laundry room for a season? I have to go in there and I like the way it looks. So, you know, I want something pretty to look at. So that's those. And they also, they go here, you know, with all my strawberry stuff. I know these are a little bit more of a burgundy shade, but all my other strawberries are bright red. And I mean, Christmas, Valentine's. You know, could even use them like in the summer, 4th of July, if, you, if I wanted to do that thing. But for those prices, I love them. And then this was $1.50, and it's a vintage scarf. And I put it on a Facebook group I'm on, and I was told that this de depicts a German wedding scene. You know, there's all the, the people celebrating the wedding, and then the inside the cart there is supposed to be the gifts. Now, I thought, possibly after looking at it, after I bought it, that this might be a funeral scene because you know how the old Victorian type of hearses were glass carriages? So, and I thought that maybe hearse, I mean, like a coffin in there. And then I know they look like they're celebrating, but I know some cultures do that like down in um new orleans i think i've seen where when they're having a funeral you know they're like dancing and they're playing music and it's it's a celebration of the person's life and not such a mournful occasion so that's what i thought it was but i had several people to tell me and that i am assuming they they know what they're talking about um that that was a wedding scene but i love the colors of it and then i also got some little vintage hankies because, you know, can't have enough of those. And I actually use these. I take these to church with me sometimes. Some, you know, I got hanging in there. Some I've got on display. And then I take them and use them. And they were all like a, this one was $2. That one was $3. And I think that one was a dollar. And then I love vintage tea towels. And I showed this on an Instagram story loved the colors on this it's so pretty i guess i could turn it up 1972 i use these in my kitchen these vintage calendar tea towels is the only type of towel i use in my kitchen and i absolutely love them and i have tons of them and then there was this one that was odd because it is a narrow one but i loved it i thought that would be pretty in the summertime and it was a 19 what 85 one and um that one would be pretty just to use as a hand towel because i have like a little bar in front of my sink that i can hang towels on and use and then one other thing from the um, antique store was this little crocheted i guess it's supposed to be a pot holder um, it's got the little hanger there, but I just thought it was so precious and I mainly got it to hang somewhere on a hook in my laundry room. Just love that. And I think I paid $4 for it. And it's this vintage strawberry dish. It is the chip and dip set. It is by Poppy Trail, um, California. And I have been looking at this <laughs> for over a year in this particular antique store, looking at it and saying I wanted it, but it was $25. Of 
I know it's worth it. I've looked it up. It's worth that. And I just didn't want to pay for it. But I finally made my mind up. I said, the next time I go in there, if it's still there, I'm going to get it. And sure enough, it was. So I got it. <laughs> and I'm just going to use it in my kitchen as a, like, throw some of my mints in it, candy, whatever. Just a little catch-all dish in the kitchen. All right. Next, I found this at a thrift store for $2.75. And again, it has that same painted finish, almost like a airbrushed finish. And he's got one little toe broke, but I can fix that. And I just thought he was adorable. Or she, don't know what it is. And it's the little egg cup. And it was $7. But I love the rooster. That. This I have been wanting. <laughs> this little vintage toy for the longest. My friend Kim from My Feathered Nest. Like me, she decorates with the, the bumblebees and the honeybees and all that. And she has one of these that she uses in her decor. And I have just, oh, I've been wanting one ever since I've seen her. Because they're so adorable. I love the vintage toys anyhow. But I just couldn't find any. And then did find one. And it was a ridiculous price. But I found this one for $8. And it'll look really cute with all of my bee decor this summer. Love that is this vintage um it's like a jam jar i don't think it's a honey pot or a sugar jar but it the lid comes off it has the spoon i don't know if that was originally what was supposed to be in there but i just love that i've seen these on ebay before and um i i just they, they were like 30 dollars or something i think i paid 15 for this one just thought he was adorable all right the next items and I know this is getting long so I'm probably going to cut it off before too much longer the next items are a bunch of plates I love decorating with plates and so this one was 275 that will be pretty in my living room and I mean I'm thinking it's pretty old because look at this plate hanger I mean that's a pretty unique plate hanger haven't seen one of those, but again, the colors and the birds, so love that. And then these were $1.75 a piece, and I love those colors. And like I said, in my kitchen, I mean, in my bedroom, I'm going to go with more of a cottage, vintage cottage feel in there. So, kind of like a shabby chic, I guess you could say. So, I know those will go well in there. And if you followed me for any time, you know I collect state plates. And so I found this set of four that are all similar. So there's Utah, and it's like the state seal of the plates. Idaho. Kansas, where my daughter was stationed at. Or her husband, they're both there. And then California. And then the next set of plates... I got this whole stack for four dollars they had it all taped together because i mainly i knew what was on the bottom but there's these there's six of these or eight of eight of these like this and this color um here in my dining room um straight across from behind the camera here is a mirror on the wall and i've got my blue and white dishes of plates all displayed on that wall well, I got them in the order I like the way it's laid out. So now I can change those out because I love plates. As long as I use the same size, I can just take the hangers off, switch them out to a different color or a different plate, and switch them around so I don't just have to have all blue and white. And with these being, you know, the different colors, a pink and reddish, these would be pretty at any time. Maybe even Christmas I could add those in there. And I, I told you wrong. There are two of those. And see, one, two, three, four, five, six of this style. So it's like that. And then two of those. And those must have been in somebody's antique booth because they said $2 a piece, but I got them all for four. But the main ones I wanted was what was on the bottom is these two. So all of those mixed up in my on my plate wall you know, different seasons I can just 
put different colors in. That way I can enjoy all my beautiful plates that I like. <laughs> These next two plates were 49 cents a piece. And again, just that kind of co vintage cottagey feel and the colors on can use. And let's see, got a little bit more time. I'll show you some things here. These two seventy-five for these um, silver napkin rings. Can always use those in my tablescapes. And y'all know I love vintage purses, so I paid a little more for this one than I normally would, but I loved it. It's like a silk print. It's so pretty. And then it had the matching wallet. And then it has like, it's like a little case and then there's like a very thick mirror in there and it's made in Italy. I think I looked it up, it's from the 1940s and I paid $20 for it. So a little more than what I normally would, but I mean, it even goes with outfit I had on, but I just thought it was so unique. I loved it. So. That is all I'm going to show you with this part one. And um, just keep a lookout for part two of this because um, I have lots more to show you guys. But for now, that's going to be it. If you don't already follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I would love for you to come join my family over there. If you don't subscribe to me here on YouTube, please do so. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I'm also on Pinterest if you ever wanted to just check me out there because I have hundreds of boards that I have stuff pinned to that I get inspiration from for all of my decorating and stuff. So until we get the next part, which I hope is just a few days after this one, y'all have a blessed day. Bye.